All right, we got my dad with a nice crappie. I can, it's kind of yellow too. They must be towards the bottom. Yeah. Muckfish. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the best one of the day besides uh, Mark's uh, bass. Yep. Yeah. Let's get a close up of that thing. Frozen fish sticks. Yeah. Come on, my fingers are cold. Here's another crappie. About five seconds after the last video, Mark cooked on the one. <laughs> I, I gotta get, I gotta circuit back to my hole. <laughs> I barely have any maggots, so my hands are too cold to put any on. Yep. So we'll hopefully be back with another video. Get like five more seconds to make sure nobody else gets another one. Here's my dad with another crop. He's killing them out of this one. Oh, yeah, it's better than, you know, getting shut up like I am. What do you have to say about the fishing today? Cold. <laughs> yeah. Here's a front shot of all the snow and rain coming in, so... Oh, he already dropped it down. At least I know what to do now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Look at that bluegill, baby. Yeah, look at that bluegill. Or sunfish, actually. Yeah, nice one. I felt that one. Alright. It's a chubby one. It almost looks like a rock bass, but it's not. It looks just like a rock bass. But it's not. It's a sunfish. It has the shape, the mouth, and everything. It just doesn't have red eyes or anything. Okay, what do I need for ice fishing? Well, it's a really good question. All you really need, well, first of all, you need an auger to drill the ice, but if you already have that, what's a good setup? Uh, well, first, it's an ice fishing pole. They're a lot smaller than regular fishing poles since, you know, you're not casting or anything. But my rule of thumb for uh, fishing rods, ice fishing rods, is the more flexible, the better, because a lot of times out there, you'll get those really, they'll be really finicky outside, so you'll get the smallest little taps, and you need to feel those. If you have, like, a heavy action rod, then that's not going to do it. So basically this is a Shakespeare Fuel Ice ice fishing combo. I got this for $15 up at Dick's. That's a really good deal. Um, it comes with the line on it, but I recommend you take it off and uh, put your own line on there. Only because it has a lot of coils and line twists with the trialing that they give you. Um, what I put on there is this uh, P-Line 8-pound test fluorocarbon. It's really sensitive and um, never lost the fish on it through the ice. And it's, believe it or not, it's eight pound test, but it has an incredibly thin diameter, so that helps out a lot. So I got eight pound P line and the Shakespeare fuel ice. Like I said, very flexible tip. And the jig head I'm using, if you're like fishing anywhere from you know ten feet to twenty feet, I recommend using a jig head rather than a slip bobber. This one's called a Northland Hexy Bug. And this is probably the best jig head I've used. I got it a ten dollars kit. It came with, but I mean, this is the only uh, lure I use out of it. So I don't really know the color of it. It's like an orangey yellow. You can't really see it too good, but it's, it's really tiny. But yeah, it's a really good lure. So I recommend that you get yourself a jig head, a really flexible rod. Get yourself some fluorocarb fluorocarbon line to put on there, and you should be set. I'm Randy Casana. I hope that tip helped you out. Until next time, catch some more.